בראשית בורו אלוהים. One of the most common questions I get when it comes to biblical Hebrew is what did the ancients sound like? What did Moses, Moshe sound like when he read the Ten Commandments? What did Devorah, Deborah sound like when she sang her song? Now we'll probably never really know the answer to this question and one of the reasons is is that ancient Hebrew texts didn't have vowels. Let's take a look here at the opening of Isaiah in the Dead Sea Scrolls. What we can see is that there are a bunch of letters. That's it. These letters are for the most part consonants and there are no vowels in this text. Now let's look at the same exact passage a thousand years later in arguably the most important Tanakh ever written, the Aleppo Codex. By this time, at the turn of the first millennium, we can see that there are vowels, there are cantillation marks, there are spelling notes. In other words, the biblical Hebrew text is much more clear. Codices such as this come from Tiberias, Tveria, a pleasant and important town on the Kinneret, the Sea of Galilee, where scribes known as the Masoretes perfected the craft of Bible copying about a thousand years ago. Recently, a scholar named Jeffrey Kahn has written a book called The Tiberian Pronunciation Tradition of Biblical Hebrew. This book can be downloaded for free, I have the link in the description, and there's also a summary essay available. What's really fascinating is that the book includes recordings of the pronunciation. These recordings were done by a graduate student named Alex Foreman. The reason the recording is so important is that it gives you the big picture. One recording is worth a thousand pages of text. What I would like to do is play you three recordings. First, I'd like to play you a contemporary Israeli pronunciation. You can actually play this in accordance if you get the module. It's put out by the Bible societies in Israel. And if you notice, there are two colors of highlighting. The first color I put for you is for the Tav without a Dagesh. And I want you to notice how in contemporary Hebrew pronunciation, this is going to be a T sound. The second color is orange. And that is for the tsadi, which in contemporary Hebrew pronunciation is going to be a tz sound, like in pizza. So here it is. Bereshit bara Elohim et hashamayim ve et haaretz. Ve haaretz hayta tohu vavohu ve choshech al pnei tehom. Ve ruach Elohim merachefet al pnei hamayim. Ve yomer Elohim. Yehi or. Ve yehi or. The second pronunciation is that of Foreman and Khan from about a thousand years ago. And if you pay attention to the highlights, you'll notice that the T sound of contemporary Hebrew is understood to be a TH sound. And the orange, the Tsadi TS sound, is understood to be a S sound. So let's hear it. Barishis boro Elohim is Hashomayim v'is ho'ores. Voho ores hoi so so hu vo vu hu. Voho shech alpani so hum. Varuah elohim mara hefeth alpani hamoim. Vadomer elohim yehi or. Vaihi or. For the third and final example, what I'm going to be playing for you is the Khan and Foreman rendering of Tiberian Hebrew from a thousand years ago, but here the cantillation notes are also sung. So this is what it would have sounded like. Yehi 
Like every language, Hebrew has changed a lot over the last thousand years. Hopefully you've enjoyed this reading of Genesis 1, 1 to 3 in both ancient Hebrew as well as contemporary Hebrew. Be sure to check out the video description where you'll have a link to download the book as well as hear another recording of Foreman's, that is of Psalm 1. And if you like this kind of study and you want to learn more about the biblical text in Hebrew, you should consider taking a course with me at the Institute of Biblical Culture, where I have biblical Hebrew courses that begin every few months. These classes sell out, so if you're interested in taking a class soon, you should sign up as quickly as you can. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you soon for the next video.